Side effects of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel include hypernatremia, high sodium presence in blood. Welcome to another video. Today, I am back, and I am going to give you the top five reasons to invest in Cyber Dragons. Last time, I talked about Cyber Dragons. I was telling you why you should invest in them, and I'm going to show you now that the investment is paying off. All right. Now, I know this isn't a water deck, but it's okay, because our opponent is playing water cards today. Opponent playing Tier Limits. Opponent. Sheeran. And we are playing in the festival, but that's all good. All right, just because we're playing in the festival doesn't mean we're playing a low power deck. You can play this deck on the ladder and be fully, fully dominating your opponents. Opponent also playing Pearlies. So we got some Pearly tier limits. Now we'll see what happens. Now, when you're playing Cyber Dragons, you always make your opponent go first, and then you teach them the meaning of Yu Gi Oh! Now, back in the day when I started playing Yu Gi Oh!, everyone wanted to go second because you could just, you know, tear apart your opponent's board and then smack them for a billion damage. But now everyone wants to go first. They think going first, they're safe. They're going to make their negates. They're going to make their E Pearly Beauty negate. Opponent going to reveal delicious memory in hand. Opponent going to E Pearly Plump. And look at them. They got full Pearly combo. They're eating up two Pearly spells. They got two Pearly Sleepy Memories, which means they're going to draw two on their turn. And they get to make the Noir. Although, is Noir allowed in this event? I don't actually know if Noir is allowed in this event, but opponent going into the happiness. Our opponent thinks happiness is the way to go. Happiness is quick effect, negate all your opponent's monsters effect. So opponent has negate, negate, draw two. And they got the my friend Pearly, which means they're going to be recovering all their Pearly spells if we do manage to deal with their Pearly monsters. Opponent also ripping a maxi in the standby phase. All right. Opponent, the ultimate disrespect. Uh, let's negate that maxi. And let's teach opponent a lesson, all right, about Cyber Dragons. And this is the reason, all right, this is the reason Cyber Dragons was a good investment. Clockwork Knight. All right, we'll talk about why that card's so good in a second. First, we got to do our plays. Opponent draw on two. All right, they pot agreed it. We're going to normal or special summon Cyber Dragon using his effect. This is why you go second. All right, opponent controls the monster. Then we're going to activate the Clockwork Knight. Clockwork Knight makes all monsters on the field machines. And when all the monsters are machines and you control a cyber dragon, well, you're just going to see. Fusion Summon Contact Fuse, the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. You use monsters from either field that are machines. And then its attack is 1,000 times the number of machines used. You just have to have one cyber dragon and then take all their machines, turn it into a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, the ultimate super poly play. Now opponent has nothing. They're going to recover all their pearly cards, but they're emotionally devastated. We also got Therion King. All right, now if you're playing the Clockwork Knight, I do recommend you play one Therion King because if this card gets negated sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from the graveyard, discard a card to add an Earth Machine monster to your hand, and this boy is an Earth Machine negate. All you got to do is have a machine in the graveyard. He summons himself. Opponent getting all their pearly cards back. We're going to activate the Regulus and Opponent demoralized they don't want to see it they're not even gonna wait to see if we have lethal they are done let's go on to the next reason to invest in cyber dragon all right welcome back to the next game if you like cyber dragons let me know down in the comments be sure to subscribe all right now sometimes your opponent makes you go first all right when you're cyber dragons especially without link monsters it's difficult for us to do plays going first we really want to be able to special summon our cyber dragon but you know what it's okay we're gonna set set we're going to pass, we're going to hope to live, and then we're going to teach our opponent a lesson on the next turn. Opponent thinks they can teach us a lesson about Yu-Gi-Oh by going second, when we're the ones supposed to be teaching people a lesson. All right, while our opponent's doing their plays, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to have more quality content in the future. Maybe Cyber Dragons, maybe Fish. You never know. Opponent making Guardian Chimera, discarding with the Fusion Summon, Luna Lights, and an Edge Imp. They're going to pop a card on the field. They're going to draw two. Yellow Martin going to activate, get a fusion spell, a Lunalite fusion spell. We're going to negate that. Lunalite's very powerful going second deck that can attack a lot of times. So that is why I'm negating the Yellow Martin. Who knows what's in opponent's hand. They are going to get another Fray for Patchwork, which is another polymerization. Although they can't activate it this turn because they already activated one. They're going to draw two, pop our Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon going to activate. Get us another Cyber Dragon. Very cool. Thank you. Opponent only has the Chimera though. 
Chimera can't be targeted because they use polymerization. Polymerization is in their graveyard. But now, it is time to teach opponent a lesson. Let's activate Cyber Repair Plant. Search our deck for Haylight Machine because we have this boy in the graveyard. We can get the Cyber Dragon Core. Normal summon the core. That is a mistake. I was supposed to summon Cyber Dragon first. Big fool. All right, that's fine. We don't need it. We don't need to special summon Cyber Dragon. We got the Cyber Dragon Naster. Discard Cyber Dragon to special summon Cyber Dragon from the graveyard. We're going to activate the Clockwork Knight. We are going to yoink our opponent's monster, Clockwork Knight style, into the Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. And this is the second reason to invest in Cyber Dragon. We're going to attack. We're going to attack again. We're going to attack a third time. And now, during the battle phase, we're going to Cyber Load Fusion into the Cyber Twin Dragon. Get him with a Cyber Twin double attack. This is the second reason to invest in Cyber Dragons. Let's go on to the next game. We are in the next game. It is Cyber Dragoning time. Opponent. Going first. They are setting. This is how you know. You make your opponents go first. You know, you, you, they go first. They choose to go first. They wombo combo all day. You make them go first. They set. They're scared. They're fearful. Let's summon the Cyber Dragon. Opponent. Very rude. Ash blossoming us. We did not want to get Ash blossomed here. That is okay, though. We um, are going to set. <laughs> We're going to attack their face down. Opponent summoning an elemental hero spirit of Neos because we attacked their monster. That's also going to get them a search for a hero a polymerization spell. They're going to add polymerization to hand. Okay. All right. You know what? This is fine. We got two of the best cards on our deck. We got Cybernetic Overflow, which lets us banish Cyber Dragons and pop cards on the field. And we got the Super Polymerization. This card is so powerful that people in Reddit say that it should be banned. Do I think Cyber Super Polymerization should be banned? No, I think it is fair. Going second needs help. Opponent revealing a Shadow Mist. Fusion summoning with Polymerization. Making the Sunrise, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna hold here. We're gonna hold. Sunrise adding the Miracle Fusion. We got a Hero Chad. Hero Chad online. Getting the Malicious. Opponent going to battle, attacking, popping. That overflow, all right. Now that's the reason we wait. Because Overflow, if it gets popped, searches for a Cyber Spell Trap. So, opponent popped it. We're going to activate in response. Banish our Cyber Dragon. Pop a monster. And then we are going to Super Poly and our opponent. You have some very interesting monsters on the field. Some very interesting hero monsters that we can yoink into the DPE. That's right. Opponent was playing materials for DPE, a level 6 or higher hero, and a Destiny hero monster. Sometimes it just works that way. Pop their last monster. Opponent gets the Shadow Mist. We get to search for a Cyber Spell Trap. We got the DP online. We get to search for a Cyber Dragon because we discarded the Hertz. Search for Cyber Dragon. Cyber Overflow. Search for a Cyber Emergency. Opponent is getting a Ferris. All right, so they're going to try and do more plays in main phase two. Ferris going to special summon itself. Attach the increase from the deck. We are going to pop in response. The increase will stay in the field and uh, the spell trap zone, but they won't be able to tribute any monsters to summon it. So hopefully they don't have any more combos. Uh, opponent still fusion summoning. Miracle fusion sending seven monsters to wake up your elemental hero. All right, opponent. Very cool. Very big. If we pop this, it special summons a hero from the deck, which probably means. Uh, Hold on, does it say related cards? Where is it? Oh, there's a thousand heroes. Okay, there's like a literally infinity heroes. Uh, but one of them is the one uh, that, uh, you know, negates all monster effects. I, I think they can summon that with Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. You let me know. Uh, I'm not a hero pro. You let me know what they would summon if we pop this. We're going to Cyber Emergency. Get the Hertz. We are going to Cyber Repair Plant. Get the Galaxy Soldier. And this is the next reason, the third reason to invest in Cyber Dragons. Galaxy Soldier gonna let us make the cyber dragon infinity but opponents so scared they're not even gonna let you see the third reason to invest in cyber dragons let's go on to the next game all right on to the next game we got the beautiful rock nibiru his opponent going to play into nibiru going first fusion deployment very cool card this was the original reason to invest in cyber dragons so maybe that counts reason number four if you buy the cyber dragon structure deck very cheap in the store you get three copies of fusion deployment which is very playable opponent 
going to activate their mirror jade right now to search for the Brandon spell trap. Brandon in red. Pass back to us. All right. How do we deal? How do we deal with the mirror jade? Let's set two. Let's pass. All right. We don't have any plays right now because we don't have a cyber dragon. My kingdom for a cyber dragon. All right. We just got to hope opponent plays into the Nibiru and then we'll be fine. Opponent hitting us with the mirror jade. Very painful. Doing nothing. No plays. All right. We draw Galaxy Soldier. Now we could Galaxy Soldier discard Nibiru. Uh, get another Galaxy Soldier, then Galaxy Soldier summon, but opponent's just going to Mirror Jade it, so that is not ideal. Let's pass again. Opponent does not have lethal right now. Opponent, activate an Albion. Activate an Albion. Brandon in red. Adding the Fallen Albaz back to hand and Fusion summoning into the Guardian Chimera. Alright, opponent. What are you going to pop? If opponent pops the Super Poly, we're in big trouble. If they pop the Cyber Overflow, we're very happy. Opponent pops the overflow. All right, that is that is the secret to Cyber Dragon. Get lucky. Sometimes you gotta get lucky. Add the Cyber Emergency. That's gonna let us search for a Cyber Dragon opponent. Summoning Fallen of Albez. I really wish I had Mirror Jade in my extra deck right now. I would Super Poly straight into Mirror Jade, but I don't have it. Pro tip, maybe play a Mirror Jade in the extra deck. Opponent getting back. Brandon in red. Go win a battle. We're gonna Super Poly it up. Discard the Cyber Lord Fusion. Make the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Because opponent had two Dark Monsters on the field. Opponent setting some back row. Alright. Alright, now we got the upper hand. We got Cyber Dragon. We got Cyber Emergency. We're going to search for the Hertz. We're going to Hertz it up. Discard with the Galaxy Soldier. Activate, activate. Chain block the Galaxy Soldier. Sometimes you want to chain block. Search for the Cyber Dragon. Search for the Galaxy Soldier. Tribute the Cyber Dragon, that's right, we Tribute Summon our Starving Venom. Because if opponent pops, we still got two Galaxy Soldiers in hand, so we can do the level 5 XZ again. Let's get the Nova. Uh, opponent Bistuling, Bistual Banish. Let's go straight into the Cyber Dragon Infinity, we want that Negate online. Opponent summon this Bistual in attack mode, that means we can Yoink it, get Yoinkin, uh, opponent branded in red. Okay. All right. Opponent branded in. We're going to let it go. We're going to let it go. Hold in the gate. Opponent adding. Fallen Albez back to hand. Summoning. V Lubellion. Lubellion. Look at this prismatic Cyber Dragon Infinity. Discarding. Call by the Grave to activate the fusion. Summon. We are going to negate. An opponent has nothing. They are done. Branded. Destroyed. By the Cyber Dragons. All right. So that, just in case you're taking notes, the third, fourth reason to invest in Cyber Dragon was the spell that you get when you buy the deck. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right, on to game number five. Now, we are playing Toxic Maxi, but sometimes you just got to do it. Opponent playing Machines. And I'm very sorry, opponent, but this is the fifth reason to, to, to play Cyber Dragon. The fifth reason to invest. All right, opponent ashing our Maxi, proving that it is useless garbage card that we should never play. Never play Maxi just because of that. Opponent, Therioning. And opponent, we have very, very bad news for you. Opponent is playing Machines. Now we have Clockwork Knight in hand. Oh, opponent hitting us with the Maxi. All right. Opponent hitting us with the Maxi. They think they're going to draw a bunch of cards. Cyber Dragon. And this is it. It's already over. They have a Negate. They have uh, an Irradiator. I don't know what this does, but we're not going to do anything else. That is negated. We're just going to steal their monsters with a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon opponent in shambles. Machine monsters in shambles. Let's Fusion Destiny opponent. Ash Blossom again. Very rude opponent. Top decking that Ash Blossom off the maxi. Let's go to battle. I think it was very rude that our opponent maxied us after negating our maxi. That does not seem fair and balanced. Opponent summoning the Ruin Force. Ruin Force attacking over us. But opponent, all your monsters are machines. That means all we have to do is summon another Cyber Dragon and it's game over. Let's activate in the graveyard. Opponent with the, another Ash Blossom. All right, that's it. Fingered. Finger the third Ash Blossom. Opponent with Ash Blossom Tron. I don't think so. Special summon. Special summon the Cyber Dragon from the deck. 
get Yoink in with the second copy of the Khmer Tech Fortress Dragon, activates the Nashter, summoning itself and a Cyber Dragon from the graveyard, activating the Hertz effect, searching for the Cyber Dragon, summon back the Cyber Dragon, and opponent doesn't want to see it, we were going to tribute summon our Cyber Dragon, go into the XE, attack, we got negate, we got pop, and opponent is done. Let's go on to the next game. All right, you may have had all five reasons to invest in Cyber Dragon, but that doesn't mean you have to go home. You can stick around, watch a couple more games, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna have the full deck list. Opponent, go in first, playing generators, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, generators does a lot, all right? Opponent has the probably the best generator hand ever. It's the best generator hand of all time. They summoned four monsters already. They got the generator boss stage field spell. They're going to summon a Phantom Fortress, making us banish a card from our hand. Opponent banishing our Fusion Destiny. Then they're going to do it again, banishing a second card from our hand. This is very rude. Banishing Galaxy Soldier. Summoning a Utopic Future. They're going to go into the Utopic Draco Future. I have always done this, and it has always died, so we'll see if it's good against us. Opponent's generator boss stage means they're going to summon a billion monsters. Once uh, we draw a card, which we have to do for the beginning of our turn, opponent summoning generator boss. Summoning one, two tokens, three tokens, four tokens. Oh, opponent, um, you may have made you may have made a slight mistake. We're going to activate the Nibiru here. Is Nibiru activation a mistake? We know opponent has negate. We also know opponent has uh, a second negate. Yeah, card or effect is activated, negate. So opponent has negate on negate. So, you know, we got to use their negates up. Nibiru. Nibiru activate. Uh, opponent tribute to negate. Negating the Nibiru. They would have had a chunky Nibiru anyway. Let's activate Cyber Emergency. Get ourselves a Cyber Dragon. Uh, opponent is making us discard the Cyber Dragon, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we can activate the Repair Plant. Get ourselves a Jinkirzu Kaiju. Kaiju it up. Normal summon the Cyber Dragon. Search for Overflow. Get the Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. Pop their token. Set the Overflow. And maybe, maybe we are back in this. Overflow can pop two Cyber Dragons in the graveyard to pop two cards on the field. Opponent loses their token. They got the boss stage. They got the generator boss. They're going to attack mode. But we're going to get popping. Get banishing, get popping. And now this is a fair fight. Opponent has two back row. We got. Ameritech Fortress Dragon. This is anyone's game. Super Poly. All right, we uh, can't use that right now. Hit him for 2,000. Uh, opponent. Get drawn. Opponent's got nothing. All right, three more turns. Three more turns. Therion. Activate Therion. Opponent. Psy Frame Gear Gamma. All right, maybe I should have attacked first. You never know. I kind of thought Negate would be better. But opponent negating with Psy Frame Driver. All right. Very unfortunate. We got a pass. Opponent. Summoning a Lone Fire Blossom, which is going to summon any plant from the deck, but just summons another Lone Fire Blossom. What is that all about? All right, you explain to me. Does that mean opponent has only one plant target and they already got it? Is their only plant this Generator Boss of Light and they only have one and they can't get it with a Blossom? That's got to be it. All right. Clockwork Knight means any Cyber Dragon can steal all their monsters now. Let's crash into the plant. Pass back to the opponent. Opponent ending the turn. All right, we are very close to getting lethal. We got two super polys now. Get to battle. Set a super poly. We got everything we could need. We just did, we didn't have a cyber dragon on the field, but that's fine. Opponent activating their generator in the graveyard, summoning itself. That is fire attribute. We cannot super poly. That is light attribute. We cannot super poly. Opponent getting another boss stage. Exiting into the generator boss of shadows. That is Fire Attribute. Summoning the Generator Big Boy. Eating our Super Poly. Very rude. Making us draw a Maxi. Stealing our monster. Getting another Generator Boss stage. Going to battle. Hitting us for 3,000 damage. Alright, well we got one turn. Drawing the very useless Maxi. Opponent's going to summon tokens. We're going to activate Maxi. And opponent negating negating with the cross out designate and we have no more plays opponent got us 
Sometimes, sometimes they get you. Sometimes they get you. Let's go on to the next game. All right, we are gonna play one final game with Cyber Dragons. You let me know if you're a Cyber Dragon fan down in the comments. Cause uh, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Cyber Dragons. This is one of the first decks I built in this game. And I got the prismatic, I got the prismatic Cyber Dragon Infinity. Like that is a reason to say, play Cyber Dragons, all right? Look at that sparkle. We're gonna go first, cause our opponent making us go first. Set in that call by the grave. Opponent, how dare you? Play Luna Lights. Make us go first. We want to make you go first. Let's banish and negate the Luna Light Black Sheep. Those gonna search for polymerization. Uh, opponent is a Luna Light Collado Chicken. Activating Tiger. And we gotta count, alright? One, two, the Nibiru count. Three, opponent time P3 Doer. Going straight to battle though. Um, three summons. They gonna summon a Zeus? No Zeus. Alright, Nibiru not doing anything. We draw. Fusion Destiny. Uh, opponent attaching. Our Galaxy Soldier. Very rude. Let's Fusion Destiny. Fusion Destiny it up. Make the Phoenix. Activate the Denier. Go to battle. Attack opponent. Activate the time to free do it or dodge. We are going to pop. In response. Get pop in. DP going to come back later. Attack for 1,100. DP come back. DP back on field. All right, all right. We're gonna pop their Luna Light Tiger, which apparently uh, floats. Another monster back. I did not know it did that. This is why we don't read. Opponent has another Luna Light Tiger anyway. Going to summon a monster. Eggsy into Diamond Direwolf, an opponent. Pop in. Pop in our DPE with Diamond Direwolf. All right. Well, DP is going to come back later. And now our field is clear. And we'll be keeping count. We're keeping track of the count there. Opponent summoning one, two, three, four monsters. Opponent summoning five monsters. All right, opponent. They don't know it, but Nibiru is live. Six summons. How many summons are we going to get them with? Seven summons. Loon Light Fusion. This is why we wait. Seven summons. Opponent trying to go to battle. It is time. Nibiru, give him the rock. Summon the rock in defense mode because you're never sure which one's the token and which is the regular one. Both in defense mode. DP comes back. And now it is time to Cyber Dragon. Opponent negating DP. All right. The coast is now clear. The coast has never been more clear. Main phase one. All right. We're going to activate Nashter. Discard. Summon the Nashter. Search for Cyber Dragon. Cyber Repair Plant. Get the Kaiju. Kaiju it up. Get Yoink in. Make the Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon go to battle. And this is lethal damage with Cyber Dragons. Let's go. All right. So here is the deck list. I was using the festival. Let's go through it. We got three Hertz. We got two Nashers. We got triple Maxi. We got triple Core. We got Denier. We got triple Cyber Dragon. We got triple Galaxy Soldier. We got Dasher. One Regulus. One Jinkirzu. One Nibiru. Overload Fusion. We got triple Cyber Emergency. We got Cyber Repair Plant. We got two Fusion Destinies. We got the Lightning Storm. We got triple Clockwork Knight. Great card. Reason to play the deck. We got Super Poly at three. We got two call buys, one overload fusion, and one cybernetic overflow. In the extra deck, super poly targets, and also uh, contact. Well, yeah, they're all super poly targets. All right, we got Moo Dragon of the Swamp. We got Panzer Dragon Wits. Let's just use a machine and a dragon monster. So if we have a cyber dragon on the field, we can super poly it up, stealing opponent's dragon monsters. It happens. It, it can happen. All right, it can happen. Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. This is for cyber dragon plays. We got the Cyber Twin Dragon. We got two copies of Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Do you want to play three of these? I never had to do this three times. Maybe if you're playing budget, you can do three of these. But if you're buying the structure deck, you know, a lot of these cards are in the structure deck already. So already a very budgety deck. Starving Venom Fusion, another super poly target. We got Destiny Hero. Very great card to have in the deck. And you can steal opponents' hero monsters. Over Dragon. We got the Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. Now not as great in this event because people aren't usually using the extra monster zone to summon monsters but you know we got them in there two copies of nova 
two copies of Infinity and one Zeus to Zeus it up. Hope you liked today's video. Let me know what you think about Cyber Dragons. Hope to see you next time. Have a good night. Did you know that you can now join the Sim King channel? It's going to give you access to all sorts of amazing perks like early access to videos and some beautiful stickers. We got Frog, Jerry Beans Man. Just subscribe. It's easy. I made it the lowest price possible. $0.99 a month. That's Canadian Monopoly money. If you don't want to join the channel, you can still subscribe. You'll get access to all my videos and be notified when I come out with a new one. All right, let's go.